when we know the perpendicular height of a triangle, we can work out its area using the formula half base times height. So if we had a right angle triangle and we knew its height and its base, or if we had a triangle and we were given the height, given the perpendicular height and the base, we can work out the area using half base times height. But when we don't have this information, we are going to use a different formula. So the area of a triangle can be found using half AB sine C. So half AB sine C will work out the area of a triangle. And what is A, B and C? So the angle in this first example, the angle is going to be big C. The thing with sine is the angle. And what's A and B? Well, A and B are lengths. Opposite big C is little c. And the other two in either, either way round are called A and B. So we don't use little c in the question. What we're looking for is two lengths and the angle in between them. So when we have two lengths and the angle in between them, we can use half AB sine C. So let's look at this first example. The area is going to be given by half AB sine C. And that's half times 6.5 times 3.5 sine 55. And all we have to do is type it in the calculator. So I could use half on a fraction button or write 0 0.5. Half A, B, half times 6.5 times 3.5 sine 55. And that's given an answer of 9.32 to two decimal places. So 9.32. And what are the units? So the lengths are in meters. So area is in meters squared. So 9.32 meters squared to two decimal places. There's a question for you to try. So work out the area of the triangle. So we can use half AB sine C if we know two lengths and the angle between them. So two lengths and the angle between them. That's what we've got here. So the angle is going to be big C. The two lengths are called A and B. And we can just substitute these values into our formula, half AB sine C. So it's going to be half AB sine C. So half times 12 times 6 sine 39 and we type that into the calculator so half times 12 times 6 sine 39 and to two decimal places again we've got 22.66 this time so 22.66 the units are in centimetres, it's area, we measure area in squares, so 22.66 centimetres squared to two decimal places. Okay, another example. The only thing I've done differently this time is added extra information. So... Again, we're working out the area of a triangle, and we're going to use the formula half AB sine C. So we're looking for two lengths and the angle between them. So our angle, our 38, is going to be our big C. And the two lengths next to that angle are going to be A and B. This length, 3.2, 
would be little c. It's not involved in the question. And so we don't need that. And also it's worth saying where the triangle is already labeled a, b, and c, we can ignore the labelings that are already there and use our own. So we know we're looking for two lengths and an angle between them. The angle is going to be big C, the lengths are A and B. So let's just substitute these values in. So half times 2.9 times 4.9 sine 38. And we just type it into the calculator. So half times 2.9 times 4.9 sine 38 and that's 4.37 to two decimal places so it's 4.37 the units are kilometers squared this time and that's again to two decimal places okay one for you to try so pause the video and have a go So we're looking for two lengths and an angle between them. So where have we got two lengths and an angle between them? That is here. So this 49 is going to be our big C. 5.8 and 10.3 are going to be A and B. We don't need this 57. We don't need this 97. We just need two lengths and an angle between them. So we're going to have half times 5.8 times 10.3 sine 49. And we type that in the calculator. Half times 5.8 times 10.3 sine 49. And that's 22.54 to two decimal places. It's in meters this time, so meters squared because it's area to two decimal places. Three questions to finish up. So pause the video, have a go at these and press play when you're ready for me to go through the answers. Okay, so we're using half a b sine c. We are looking for an angle and two lengths. So two lengths and an angle between them. The lengths are a and b and the angle is our big C. So the area is half a b sine c. So in this case, that's half times 6 times 8.7 sine 98. So we'll type that in the calculator, half times 6 times 8.7 sine 98 and that's 25.85 to two decimal places. 25.85 what are the units meters squared this time and again to two decimal places question two so we could use half a b sine c with a 90 degree angle as our c but we can just use half base times height so we can go half times eight times six Half times 8 is 4. 4 times 6 is 24. And it's centimetres squared. And if you had used half AB sine C, that would be half times 6 times 8 sine 90, but a 90 degree angle, which is 24. And sine 90 is equal to 1. So sine 90 is equal to 1 so it's actually the same calculation half times 8 times 6 or half times 8 times 6 times 1 
and the last one so we're using half a b sine c we're looking for two lengths and an angle between them so that will be this is the angle 33 and the two lengths are 3.4 and 4.4 so it's half times 3.4 times 4.4 sine 33 and we're going to type that into the calculator half times 3.4 times 4.4 sine 33 and we have 4.07 so 4.07 it's meters squared this time and again we've given our answer to two decimal places